So let me show you what happens to most um, traders. So there, there are times when it's uh, very easy to make money. Um, and I'll use the gold chart here as a, uh, to uh, illustrate this. So um, beginning of March, this is when we uh, got in, got in heavy with leverage. I was expecting a, an easy period. And, and that's what we got. We got a, a big, strong, very um, powerful trending move. Um, and what happens during this easy period is, is traders become overconfident. Uh, they uh, start to assume that they're bulletproof and they, they know what they're doing. And then what always happens is you will have a difficult period that follows uh, that easy period. And uh, the problem that most traders have is they, they don't recognize that the uh, easy period uh, is coming to an end and you're entering a difficult period. And in a difficult period, uh, the same uh, strategies uh, that worked during the easy period, they, they quit working. But uh, what has happened is uh, people are, are overconfident. So uh, as the difficult period gets started, they continue to push the aggressive strategies that worked uh, during, during the easy period. And then they end up uh, losing most of their gains during during the difficult period. I I tried to you know, I, I warned people multiple times on um, April twelfth. That was the end of the easy period in in gold. And and I said at the time, one of two things is going to happen. We're either going to have a scary correction, or we're going to chop sideways. Turns out we, we chopped sideways, but I, I watched, uh, I watched this play out. You had, um, the, the gold analysts, you know, that were, um, beating their chest because they, you know, we had made uh, a lot of money here and they, they wanted to continue to press the long tide. They were expecting prices just to continue to the moon. And, uh, you know, every other day, um, this is the day that silver is going to take off, or this is the day that the mining stocks are going to uh, shoot to the moon and in that kind of mentality when you have transitioned into a difficult phase uh, it just gets you chewed up so you can you can see what happened here in gold it's just a, a back and forth you know just a terrible mess and uh, you know, all this did was it just uh, chewed people up uh, bulls and bears alike lost money in this uh, let me and let me go to the uh, mining stocks and you can you can see uh, here here was the April 12 12th and and then this is exactly what happened to people so um, they're, they're still in this mentality that it's uh, you know that we're in the easy phase and they got to keep pushing on the gas and leveraging and and then you you get a sell-off and they you know maybe they start to panic here uh, and but then uh, prices uh, come back and so they uh, they assume that the good times are are you know going to continue and so they start to get really heavily leveraged right in here maybe on the uh, on a breakout and then what happens is you get a really big correction and if you're leveraged you do not survive this you panic sell at the bottom uh, you know I, I don't obviously you don't believe the, the people that are the Monday morning quarterbacks that are telling you that they held to this, this complete bullshit. Um, this, this knocked almost everybody out of their position uh, at the bottom. And then you get another rally and, and the same thing happens. You, the, people get bullish on this breakout. And so uh, they, they got their teeth kicked in here because they were leveraged uh, expecting price to the moon and it did the exact opposite. They got a huge drawdown. And if they were in leverage, it was a massive drawdown. That causes you to panic, sell at the bottom. And now you're a little bit timid. And as price starts to rally uh, and we get a breakout, now you're ready to, um, to get leveraged again. And then what happens? You get an even bigger uh, drawdown. You know, even um, and, and, you know, panic out at the bottom again. 
and uh, this is this is what happens uh, during a difficult period. Now on to silver. Uh, in silver, um, it, it was worse. You get um, a multi-month, uh, three three month, um, significant decline in silver, and uh, again. Um, Traders trying to hold their positions, same thing in real time. Here's what happens. You know, they're expecting prices to continue to the moon. They get a big drawdown and they, they panic sell here. And then as the um, uh, trend starts to reverse back up, they become confident again. They get they get in heavy, they get leveraged, and then, uh, you know, back down and, and lower lows. And uh, I guarantee you 99% of uh, the, the traders that claimed they were going to hold to uh, the correction, they, they panic sold down here at the bottom. And and now the mentality has completely reversed. And let me go back to gold. Uh, so you, you get an easy phase. Uh, tra traders are timid right here because we've just been going sideways and nobody's making any money. They're getting whipsawed and they're very timid. It's hard to, uh, hard to pull the trigger here. So they tend to let a lot of the rally pass them by and then they and then they start to get very overconfident uh, right here right before we enter uh, a difficult phase and and since they're overconfident they're they're trading too aggressively with too much leverage during a a difficult phase and they they lose what you know gains they made uh, riding the the last little bit of this uh, easy phase and now uh, this this difficult phase has uh, been running for uh, basically five months, uh, and I think it's probably time for the difficult phase to be done. We've we finally broken out. Looks like this one's going to hold above uh, 2,500, and so now I th I think we're ready for another easy phase. But the problem is is people have gotten ha have become timid again. Uh, this five months of of sideways churn in gold, in uh, volatile 10-15% swings in mining stocks, and a big corrective move in silver has has completely wiped out the overconfidence that people um, had developed back here at the end of this easy phase, and now they're timid. They're not they're not sure if this is um, is ready to uh, take off, and so. Um, now they they're um, af afraid to be aggressive um, when we're potentially starting uh, another uh, easy phase, and we've got a very close stop that that'll tell you if the easy phase is um, ready to take off. Um, you can see here we we've, we've had uh, three. This is the fourth try to get above twenty five hundred. And this one looks like it's it's going to hold. So um, you just you know it's very very simple. You just use twenty five hundred as your as your stop. If gold comes back down and closes back below it, that's a that's a potential failed breakout. You stop out and then you wait and see um, if it if it can recover. Maybe maybe it recovers and we try again. Maybe maybe. A failed breakout here leads to a, a big sell-off and an intermediate decline that maybe takes us all the way back down to 2300. But um, it's it's very easy to protect your position um, in this particular setup uh, and in in preparation for your your expectation that another easy phase is is about to begin. Uh, so um, th this is. You know, this is what I tried to warn people back on April 12th was was probably going to happen. Either a big correction or really difficult trading that, you know, if you remained aggressive, you were probably going to give back uh, a lot or, or all of your gains that you made during this easy phase. And so... Uh, you got to you got to change your mindset when we get into the difficult phase. You have got to become cough, cautious. You got to um, protecting capital is more important than trying trying to make uh, big gains. And you just don't want to lose a lot of money in a difficult phase. And then when you get into a uh, the next easy phase, that's the time to step on the gas again. So 
I think it's probably time to step on the gas again. So I've opened the SMT. Uh, I'll leave it open all day Sunday. And uh, and I've, uh, you know, th there's, a, there's a pattern here with a target. I've... Uh, I've covered that in the weekend report for the SMT subscribers where I think our target is if this is the beginning of an easy phase then we want to we want to be aggressive and we want to um, uh, play this for a move to that uh, potential target in gold and then at that point uh, it, it'll be time for the next difficult phase and that's when we want to become uh, timid again right now I think um, is probably not the time to be timid the time to be timid was uh, October, uh, April 12th uh, until maybe now now I think it's time to be bold and um, and then if we can hit our target then it'll be time to, to be timid again so the you know most traders they do the exact opposite <clears throat> they're bold when they should be timid and they're or afraid and they're afraid when they should be bold I think it's probably time to be bold again